Hey guys, Mister here again for another video today, and we are back with our Winnipeg Jets franchise mode. So in the last episode, we were eliminated in the second round of the playoffs to the Dallas Stars, which I believe it was in six games, maybe. It might have been seven. I honestly don't remember. Oh, actually, yeah, it was six. Yeah, okay, so almost every game went to overtime, though, so you know. It was a pretty even series for, throughout the most part. 3-2 overtime loss in Game 1, then a 3-2 win uh, in regulation in Game 2. one nothing win in Game uh, 3. So, you know, all one-goal games. And then 2-1 overtime loss, 2-1 overtime loss, 4-3 overtime loss in Game th uh, 4, 5, and 6. So, you know. But uh, that has been our season. Again, Manitoba Moose have not made the playoffs so uh, we're just going to sim to the draft. Now, um, I feel like the team will change a decent amount because uh, Pugliarvi needs to get re-signed. TJ Brody needs to get re-signed. Actually, did I sign Brody yet? I do not remember. I honestly don't. Uh, it has been a little while since I last checked. I do not remember, but I, I remember I signed... Uh, I think it was Connor or Ehlers. I I really don't remember. I, I, you know what? We're just going to have to wait. So, the Stanley Cup champions are the Edmonton Oilers. And uh, the Calder champions were the... Uh, uh, or What did it say? I don't even know. I almost said Orlando Rain, but I'm pretty positive that's not what it is. <laughs> uh, I don't remember what it said, but whatever. An AHL team won the Calder, if you could imagine. There we go. There we got it. <laughs> All right. Come on, boys. Sim to the draft. So Los Angeles wins the draft lottery. Where is Vegas? They are still bottom five pickings. That is uh, pretty poor. 2022, you would think they would be better by this point. We shouldn't have any retired players. Mm-hmm. All right, good, as I took a drink of chalky milk there. Uh, Craig Anderson, a goalie that is retiring, 41 years old, Yaroslav Halak, Peter Budai, Andre Pavlik. So, I mean, you know, we could have kept him for longer, obviously. Oh, my God, he played seven games and didn't win a single one. Ew. <laughs> Although he is 67 overall. Uh, Anton Kudobin, Anders Lindback. Yeah, then two other ones that I do not know. Uh, for skaters, let's see. Patrick Marlowe, Daniel Sedin, Eric Stahl, um, Jay Bomeister, Duncan Keith, Jason Pomaville, Patrice Bergeron, Jason Spezza, Shea Weber. While well, they get under that horrendous contract he has. Good for Montreal. Uh, Andrew Cogliano, Braden Coburn, David Backus, Mike Camilleri, Brandon Dubinsky, Drew Stafford, Louis Erickson, Dustin Bufflin, Andre Sakara, Keith Yandel, uh, Cal Clutterbuck, right, Cal, yeah. Uh, Luke Shen, really, Luke Shen? He's only 32. What? <laughs> uh, Jason Garrison, Troy Brower, Mark Mathot, Scotty Upshaw, Blake Como. Uh, we'll scroll down a little bit more so you know, see everybody who's gone. But, uh, yeah, so now we are at the draft, and I'd like to do, do the draft kind of quickly here now let's see who is on an expiring deal this year we've got a few of them so i believe we just signed ehlers was it ehlers i think it might have been ehlers who we just signed I, I really don't remember i know we signed someone uh no it's not ehlers i signed someone i really don't remember but i know we signed um Oh, I think it was Connor who we signed, and we signed Leopold. I think we might have signed Marner as well. Does it show? Uh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't show from here. Okay, you know what? We're going to have to edit the trade block in just a second. So before we start the draft, I do want to go see our contract situation because I want to see which ones are going to come back to the team. A few contracts? Yeah, I think. Uh, <laughs> that makes sense. All right, let's see. So, uh, did I sign Connor yet? Mm, is there a way to see? I think I can see it in here. I really don't remember, though. Um, let's see, who expires at the end of this year? So, 
McKenzie's good. Leopold, uh, yeah, I offered him a long contract. Is that it? Was it just Leopold I offered a contract to? Oh, apparently. I thought I offered a contract to uh, to uh, either Connor Pugliarvi or Marner. Uh, all right, not Marner. Sorry, I didn't mean Marner. I saw Marner there, but I thought... Oh, wait. So confused. Yeah, okay. No, I'm, I offered him a contract. To, did I? I have no idea. <laughs> I have. I don't even remember what I did in the last episode. Oh, man. So, I mean, Eric Comrie wouldn't be a bad player to try and move out for uh, a draft pick or something. So, I'm going to write his name down. We're just going to write some players down. And to be honest, what I'm looking at currently, I wanted to look at forwards because more than likely what our team will look like it, next year will have Shifley, uh, Shifley, Ehlers, and why is Line A down to an 86? Are you kidding me? Okay, wait, I don't know. We'll have like Shifley, Marner, and... Ehlers, or Line A probably, and on the second line we'd have Ehlers, Connor, and Leopold, so I'd like to trade away Pugliarvi, like I said, I'd like to sign Connor, um, he wants a lot of money though, so Pugliarvi could be a player we could move out, uh, Wilson I'd like to bring back, Spacek I'd like to bring back as well, so we'll look to use Pugliarvi and Comrie, uh, maybe in a trade. We'll see uh, how that goes, though. So, I mean, if there's a high-projected goalie, maybe, in this draft, you never know, I could use those two players to move up in the draft because we don't really have a goalie of the future. Uh, I mean, because we're probably going to lose Comrie because he wanted, like, close to $4 million, I believe. So, I mean, like I said, I highly doubt uh, we could get him back on this team just because of the cap situation. So let's see, where is Pugliarvi? So we'll add Pugliarvi there. He's got a lot of value, but again, he's on the last year of his deal, so I don't know if any team would want him. Same thing for Comrie. So yeah, we clearly do not have a goalie of the future. You never know, we could use them to move up to maybe get that uh, potential stud goaltender. If there is one in like top 10, top 15 preferably, maybe even, uh, even uh, on the, um, uh, or in the top 10, maybe first round, we'll see. So let's view the draft class really quickly. Let's see where, uh, or where, or what uh, prospects are here. So um, when is the first goalie projected to go? Uh, first or second round, Walter. So we'll see him uh, later in the draft, but let's just look at the top five right now. We have Nelson, who I didn't scout once, apparently. Uh, he's playing in the WHL, apparently never scouted him. Uh, then we've got Byers. So we've, okay, wait. So in the top five, we have Tom Nelson, uh, Lee Byers, and Clinton Myers, um, Casey Ald, and Brian Bartley. In the top ten, we also have Willie Nickerson, uh, Vince McClement, uh, Lou Nichols, Devin Gomez and Chris Bell or Belly. So, um, honestly, not a bad first round by the looks of it. Let's see. Uh, for exact elite players, how many are there? So there's one in the third and one in the fifth. So third rounder and fifth rounder. We've got elite players that I should try and pick up more than likely. So... Let's go and see when we have a draft pick. Do we have one in the first round here? Let's see. We do. We have one late. We could maybe pick up that goalie in the first round. In the second round, wow, LA finished seventh, and they moved up to the first overall pick. Wow, that's really good for them. Uh, so we've got our second rounder as well. Then in the third round, do we have that pick as well? We do. Okay. Okay fourth rounder let's see do we have one in the fourth we do fifth rounder uh we do okay sixth rounder do we have it we do all right seventh rounder uh we also have so we have all of our draft picks 
here. So I think we'll just sim to our pick and we'll see what's up. So Jake Dotchin for a third. Um, I mean, Jake Dotchin, how good is he right now? Three years left, 4.7 for an 80 overall defenseman. No, thank you. <laughs> All right, well, let's go back to the start of the first round. We'll see who went. So we had Medium Elite, Bartley, 82 overall. Then Medium Elite, Ald, 78 overall. Nelson, an 81 overall. Byers, a 77 overall. Myers, a 77 overall. McClement was a 73 overall. Belly or Bell was a 76 overall. So really, really good top 10. Not going to lie. Now, any Medium Elite steals? Not yet, um, so maybe. Could we make a steal here with picking up that goalie? He, like I said, he was projected first or second round, so why not go for him? Take a risk on him. Franklin Walter, he is 19 years old, which may be risky. I mean, I could probably get uh, from Morgan, Jekimov, or Turikov, a medium top four defenseman, maybe even Suglobov as well, but... You know what, Walter, he has high league interest, projected first or second round. Let's go for medium starter isn't great, to be honest, so maybe that's not the greatest pick, but like I said, we do need a goalie for the future. Now, Nick Holden for a fourth and a second. Uh, I really don't know. Nick Holden, 4.3 for the next two years. He's only an 81 overall, plus he is 35 years old. I really don't know how I feel about that. When, uh, they just want some uh, picks. So our first low elite pros uh, prospect has been drafted. Let's see. Has there been a steal medium elite yet? Uh, there has not. So I was right about uh, Turikov, about being a low top or a medium top four. But Jackie Moz was not. Uh, Suglobov was not either. So not very good there. Uh, let's see. Medium elite Rodney. So we went with the wrong goalie. Even though he is 52 overall, I think ours was 56 or 54, which isn't too bad, but uh, we won with the wrong goalie. I would have liked to get the medium elite goalie because, you know, anything could happen, but McBrit or McBride and Sealy or Seal and Holly, all low elite prospects. So, you know what? Let's see. What is here for us now? Medium top nine, medium top nine. I think I'm just going to go with Kane just because that's what I originally was thinking throughout my head. Wes Kane, a defensive defenseman, more than likely probably low elite. Let's just take him. He's actually a medium elite. All right, well, that's decent. <laughs> that's obviously really good. Uh, medium elite late in the second round. That's actually not a bad pick. Nick Holden again. All right. Nick Holden again. I don't want Nick Holden game. Thank you. Another low elite there. So one thing I want to check really quickly. If we check uh, offer trade, I kind of want to go through the block uh, for everyone to see what we could give or what we could get. So Anaheim, nothing. Arizona, Dylan Strom is here on the block. He has two years left on an eight mil deal, but we really don't need a first line forward. Jake Dotchin. Uh, Buffalo, they have prospects, mainly. Who is the 76 overall, 22 years old? Nando Eggenberger, I mean, eh. Like I said, I really don't know if we need any forwards right now. Chicago, they don't have anybody. Colorado, uh, Zadorov, he's 79 overall, but he has uh, a shit ton of value. So I'm assuming he's not actually 79 overall, especially since he's getting paid $5.6 million. Same thing for Eric Johnson there. Dallas Stars, Mike Hoffman there, eh, Detroit, Darren Helm, Skewen, a, uh, uh, or, come on, Doc, Ethan, Bill Skewen, a uh, medium elite defenseman, was that this draft, is that this draft, I honestly don't even know, Pissick, no one uh, on Florida or LA, Ian Cole, uh, Kevin Hayes, Roman Yossi, uh, 86 overall is not bad. He's still on a really good contract until he is 36, so it, that could be a possibility. Valen, um, all right, maybe. We'll see. Uh, nobody on New York. Ryan McDonough, uh, Ottawa, Philadelphia, Marcheseau, Pittsburgh. They've got prospects. Pavelski, uh, Petrangelo, he has a shit ton of value. He's not. He's on a affordable contract but for six years at 32 years old i really don't know how i feel about that 
uh, prospects over in Tampa. Same thing in Toronto. Same thing in Winnipeg. And uh, Roussel for Vegas. I said Winnipeg. I meant Vancouver, just by the way. Sorry about that. Prospects. And that's it. So uh, let's make our pick really quickly. Uh, and we'll see uh, then what we could maybe able to trade for for Pugliarvi. And uh, all right, let's see. So we've got high top nine. T- t- nark- t- n- Yarnkvist? Yarnkvist, sure. Let's go with Yarnkvist. Torsten Yarnkvist or I have no idea how to pronounce that. It's a really weird last name. Um, then we've got Wells, Neil Wells, a medium seventh defenseman. We've got Neil Kidd, a high top nine as well. So, you know what, Yarnkvist, just because I don't know how to pronounce his name, and he's 17 years old, we're going to go with him. High bottom six, that is really bad. Okay, let's go back to the second round, though, just to see uh, currently who ha- or who do we miss out on. Not looking like we missed out on anything in the second round. Third rounder, uh, or in the third round, we missed out on Keatley, who was a medium elite de- uh, defenseman. And then moving on, Pan, obviously a low elite there. Uh, I'll sim to our next pick. Uh, then in the fourth round now. Uh, all right, Nick Holden, I still don't want you. Dennis Seidenberg, no thank you either. Now, in the fourth round, though, let's see what could we get here. Anything interesting? Medium top six defenseman. When is the projected elite player? You know what? I'm just going to go with Olsen, defensive defenseman. More than likely a low elite, Jamie Olsen. It's an exact elite, so he should have some value at least, which is good. So let's go back here uh, for a second to the trade. Let's see, where is... Um, that prospect. How good was he? So, Walter, he has the same amount of value as Comrie. That's that's nice. He's American, so we could probably play him in the AHL as well right away. That would be really nice. Not gonna lie. Um, hey, you never know. Hentonen could maybe get up there. 69 overall at 21 is not bad. Even though he has medium fringe starter, that's really not that bad of a goaltender. We could even maybe see a jump from him here in the off season, so let's uh let's check the goalie uh are the goalies on the block here for every team now is there a big prospect goalie that we could go after all right buffalo has two they have lukanen who i could definitely go for but i'm not going to just because i have him in the other series then we have sven gustafson all right so buffalo uh calgary they have medium starters i'm mainly looking for a medium elite one so, so far, Buffalo is the only team. Dallas, no. Detroit, no. Uh, Edmonton, no. Florida, no. Uh, LA, no. Minnesota, no. Montreal, no. Nashville, no. Uh, Grelou, 71 at 20, medium starter. That's not bad, to be honest, but I think we'll skip out on that. Pittsburgh, no. Medium starter, 62 at 21. That is not good at all. Uh, Toronto, no. Vancouver, no. Vegas, no. Uh, Prince, 53 at 19. That's not great. And we're back to the start. So Buffalo. Gustafson probably looks like the best one. Now what would we have to give up for Gustafson? That is the thing. Uh, I mean, we'd probably have to give up Pugliarvi, which could definitely happen. Uh, will that go through one for one? Trade accepted. All right, well, we've got our prospect goalie, and we just traded away Jesse Pugliarvi as well. Uh, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. All right, well, I'm sorry for trading away Pugliarvi, guys, but it's just it wasn't going to happen. Uh, but that is a huge trade. I, I really There was no way I would have been able to re-sign him, uh, and I might have honestly lost him to nothing. I mean, maybe I could have gotten some draft picks for him, but like still, I just really low chance there. So <sighs> I'm honestly, I'm very pleased with that since we did get the goalie prospect we needed. Uh, that's for sure. That's very good. Now, just looking at the draft, we have JC Canone, high top nine, high league interest. We're just going to go for him. 
Love top nine. That's not bad. I'm not even going to check uh, the other players. I just don't really care at this point. Uh, Andre Suster for second and a six. No, thank you. Uh, Kevin Hayes. No, thank you. Now, um, you know what? Let's see. Do we need a defenseman right now? Because, I mean, we more than likely don't need uh, a forward. So let's uh, offer a trade really quick. I don't, I don't, or I'm not going to say that we are making a trade, but let's just see. Let's go to defenseman, and we'll see who we've got prospect-wise. Obviously, we just picked up Kane, which uh, may not be bad, but we have Doughty, Truba, Brody, Morrissey, and we might lose Brody this year, which would suck, although there are some high overall players projected to go. Uh, to free agency this season. So McKenzie should be NHL ready uh, this next season, which is nice. But, I mean, other than that, we have Wu, um, maybe Schneider, maybe Palmieri, maybe Cowan, uh, Olsen, who we just drafted, and then Kane. So a defenseman. I mean, we could go for a defenseman, but there wasn't any medium elite uh, defensive prospects there. Uh, when I was checking the or when I was checking the block, so I don't know if I really want to make a trade. But then again, I'm kind of tempted to just make a trade for uh, for um, Eric Comrie, just so I don't lose him for nothing. So we've got uh, Taylor Stall here, a projected seventh round. Well, we're just gonna go with a medium top six, highly interest, low elite. <laughs> All right, not a bad pick then, boys. Very good. So let's uh, offer a trade here. I don't want to make another pick in this draft. So let's see. Uh, let's go to skaters matching the block. And then we'll look at prospects again. Arizona. Uh, obviously, Strom is there. I'm mainly looking for a defenseman. Wise. Wow, 73 at 19. Uh, Buffalo drafted him 11th overall. So you know what? Let's try and take another prospect from Buffalo. <laughs> Let's see. So we'll go with um, Eric Comrie. Uh, yep, okay. And then we'll also add our 7th round pick in this year's draft. They do want it. That would most definitely go through. Could we? I mean, we could probably also get... Uh, Eggenberger. Do we need Eggenberger? More than likely, probably not. Um, you know what? Screw it. Let's try a proposed trade. That should not go through. Yeah. Buffalo's going to decline this deal. So they're worried about the expiring contract of, uh, of, um, Comrie right now. But I could, uh, I could fix that easily if we just add in a second in 2027. Uh, would that push it through? Trade rejected still. I mean, the value is definitely on their side. They definitely have more value. So let's also get rid of our 2025 second rounder. Proposed trade. Trade rejected. All right. Get rid of those two seconds and get rid of Eggenberger. Will that go through? No, it will not. Could we get it to go through by adding a third rounder? Um, maybe. We'll try our 2027 and 2026 third rounders. So, no, since they really don't want to take on Comrie, um, I mean, it kind of makes sense just because he is expiring. But uh, let's, you know what? We're not going to make a trade. I think we're just going to lose Comrie, which uh, kind of sucks. But you know what? It's fine. It is okay. We, uh, we've got a few defensive prospects in this draft alone obviously just with stall with that low elite pick which is not bad maybe he could uh he could be decent for us here in the future um now i kind of curious there's another low elite there kind of curious to just go for another goaltender obviously really really late in the draft is there even another goaltender here there is ray high league interest projected seventh round colin ray medium backup 17 years old Medium French starter, not that bad, but whatever. Seventh round, what can you do? So we'll sim to our next pick, which is obviously not a, a, a thing because we just do not have another pick. But overall, that wasn't a bad draft. Walter Kane, uh, 
Yarnfist, I really don't know, uh, and Stall. Those are really decent picks. So hopefully they will help us out here in the future of uh, the Winnipeg Chets. We'll, we'll wait and see, though, that's for sure. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you all did enjoy. And we'll be back for the second part of the offseason in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys then. Peace.